Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a kick command. Where pretty much you do semicolon kick, then the player's username, and boom, they kick from the server. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right. So first things first, you want to head over to server script service and insert a server script, of course. Then you want to go ahead and name the script, we'll call it kick script, right? Then you can delete the print hello world. Then you want to do game dot players dot player added connect function. Then parentheses put PLR, which is short for player. Enter. Then we're gonna do player dot chatted connect function. Then in parentheses put MSG, which is short for message. Then press enter again. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to we're going to split the string. Now I don't know if you know what that means, but that pretty much means we're we're literally separating the string, right? So. What we're gonna what we're gonna do is local. We're gonna make a variable local. Sh not not string. Split message is equal to string dot split. Right. If you don't know what a string is, a string is pretty much like any type of like it's like words pretty much. Right. And obviously a message. And obviously like when you chat in game, that's obviously a string. Right. So you first put what you, you first put the content that you're splitting. Then your separator. Right. Which of course we're gonna have to use quotation marks for since it's a string. So. Pretty much here you would put how the command should look. So V, I mean not V kick, kick, right? That's how you could use a colon, a dash. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. But yeah. So we'll do that. Then we'll click enter twice, right? So now we have our split message, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if split message, right? And you guys see how it's how it's like how special brackets that means it has more than one part. Like it's like multiple parts into one if that kind of makes sense. So we're gonna need to use um normal brackets, right? And we're gonna do if split message one, right? That means the first thing. Now this should pretty much going by what we've already put, it should be blank pretty much, right? It should be blank, right? So you can just click enter right so it should look like this right the first first part of it should be blank there's two parts of the split message the first part should be blank oh my fault guys i actually forgot put a space after like your command because you know how obviously when you're typing when you're typing in chat you're doing v kick i mean i keep saying v kick kick space then the player's name right so obviously you need to account for the space so make sure you put a space at the end right and then yeah we come down here then we're gonna do a we're gonna use a four hour loop for IV in pairs loop, right? We're gonna do for IV in pairs game dot players, then get the children. So we're gonna do if v dot name is equal to split message two, which means the second part of your message, which pretty much means um wait hold on if you don't name it. Yeah, okay. So it's pretty much just saying this, right? So there are two parts to your message, right? You have the part that you split it, you split it like the first part, which is you know, V kick, right? We already split into that. Then you have the first part, which is obviously just blank. Then the second part, this, this too, is the actual, like what you're putting after kick, right? So that would be the player's username. So you, so then pretty much it's searching for all, like all the children of players to see if that name matches. And if it does match, I'll do V kick, right? Then close parentheses, right? And then boom. I said we can go ahead and test this real quick. I'm pretty sure this is correct. If it's wrong, we can easily figure out whatever the issue is. But yeah, let's see. Let's, let's see. Okay, so we can do kick by day 19. And boom, I'm kicked, right? That simple. So yeah, that's how you make a kick command. I can show you guys again. Obviously, if I just say, if I literally do the same thing but without the prefix, if I just do kick by J19, nothing will happen. Like, yeah, like I have to literally put kick spot and, and then part of my name won't work either it has to be like character for character literally like i can't i can't even do like a space mm -mm, can't even do that literally has to be oh kick spy 19 like it literally has to be character from character right anyway that's how you make a kick command if this video is helpful leave a like subscribe links to join my roblox group and discord can be found in the description thank you guys for showing me love and support let's get to 350 subscribers and yeah i'll see you guys